Testing. Okay. All right. Testing. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Let's begin on page 10 or 128. It's good to be together. to Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. It's good to be together. And uh, we are celebrating Shabbat, of course. We're also celebrating Pride Shabbat during this month of Pride. And so we will be uh, in enhancing our service this evening with some special uh, readings and prayers, uh, from mostly from uh, the Sidur created by uh, Congregation Shar Zahav in San Francisco. So uh, first, I would like to invite up for an opening reading, Lisa Whitmore and Frauke Schimmler. Our people came out of Egypt, a mixed multitude, the spray of dividing water sparkling diamonds all around them. We stood together at Sinai, all of us, future, present, past, amid the rumble of thunder and the crack of bright lightning to enter into covenant with the one who loves us, in whose shining image we are all created over and over again. We have wandered bleak landscapes, built flimsy tents of skin, skins and then houses of stone. We have planted orchards and vineyards, seen two temples rise and then go down in surging flames, forcing us into exile. We have loved and lost, grieved and danced, transgressed and celebrated, hidden, suffered, thrived. And we gather here this day in the community of our people, a mixed multitude, and we sing out, hear, O Israel, we stand together, all of us, descendants of the single first human created on the sixth day and of our myriad parents down through the generations, too numerous to name. We stand together, link arms and pray. Blessed are you, God of the universe, who sanctifies us with the commandment to love ourselves and one another in all our varied ways and blesses us with a diamond bright radiance that ripples out from your first spoken words of creation. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Now I'd like to invite Chris Witzel and Stephanie Hannaford to light our Shabbat candles. So we need a little more heat up here. <laughs> you can find the blessing on page two or 120. Then we'll all sing. Mm-hmm.
Continue with Kiddish, page five or one twenty three. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Bore Puri Hagafen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav ve'ratzavanu v'shabat kodesho ve'ahava uratzon hinchilanu zikaron lemaase bereishit ki uyom tehila lemikra ekodesh zechel metziat. Mitzrayim Ki vanu vacharta Veotanu kidashta Mikol hamim Veshabat kodshecha Veahava uratzon Inchaltanu Baruch atah Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Chaim. Chaim. Let's turn now to the words of Lachad Odi. Page 20 or 138, and we'll sing the first, second, fifth, and last verses. When we get to that last verse, we'll rise and welcome the Sabbath bride in. Page 20. <laughs> Come 
מחשבה תחילה. Continue with the Barahu, page 28 or 146. to invite up Vera Shadel and Lauren Ford to share an interpretation of Ma'ariv Aravim, the Twilight Prayer. Holy is twilight, the realm of in-between. And so are sages taught, pray in the moments when light and darkness touch. We are all twilight people beyond categories and labels. May the sacred in between of this evening suspend our certainties, soften our judgments, widen our vision. Let it illumine our way to the God who transcends all boundaries and definitions. Blessed are you, God of all, who brings on the twilight. Baruch atah Adonai hama'ariv Amen. Amen. Thank you. We are loved by an unending love. 
And if we don't have the words out, do we have the words? We don't, no. You'll catch on to the chorus at least. <laughs> Feel free to make up the words as the spirit moves you. We are loved, 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 by unending love and unending love. We are loved, 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 by unending love and unending love. We are embraced by our arms that find us even when we are hidden from ourselves we are touched by our fingers that soothe us even when we are too proud for soothing we are counseled by voices that guide us even when we are too embittered to hear, we are loved. We are loved, 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 by unending love and unending love. We are loved, 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 by unending love and unending love. We are supported by hands that uplift us even in the midst of a fall we are urged on by eyes that meet us even when we are too weak for meeting we are loved 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 by unending love and soothed and counseled ours are the arms the fingers the voices ours are the hands the eyes the smiles we are loved by an unending love we are loved Words of the Shema, page 34 or 152. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad seated. I'd like to invite up next week's Benot Mitzvah, Devin Tepper and Eden Jamgard, to lead us in the words of Via Hafta, page 36 or 154.
Now I'd like to invite Lisa Rauschberger and Kayla Schwartz to share some words to lead us into Micha Mocha, our prayer of redemption. God did not lead us by the nearer way when Pharaoh let the people go at last, but round about by way of the wilderness. Pillars of fire and cloud marking night and day to the edge of the flood tide, uncrossable and vast. If God had led us by the nearer way, we cried, we would not die here. Let Egypt oppress us as it will. Let us return to the past. But we have come out by way of the wilderness. In fear, on faith, free now, because we say we are free, no longer the unchosen, the outcast. God did not lead us by the nearer way, but into rising waters which do not part unless with an outstretched arm we step forward and stand fast, round about by way of the wilderness. We have come here blessed with love, lesbian, gay, or sanctified in ways of our own, to bless our God who did not lead us by the nearer way, but roundabout by way of the wilderness. Shamru, our special song for this Shabbat day. Shamru v'ne Yisrael et ha-Shabbat la'atsot et ha-Shabbat le'dorot amberid olam Shamru v'ne Yisrael et ha-Shabbat Shabbat le dorot amerit olam Ki 
ששת ימים עשר עונאי, עשר עונאי את השמיים ואת הארץ ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורותם ברית עולם וביום השביעי שבת וינפש שבת וינפש שבת וינפש ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורותם ברית עולם If you're able, I invite you to rise on page 46 for the opening meditation before the Amidah. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei Avoteinu, Veimoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vehanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezocher Chaste Avot, Vehimahot, Umei Vigeula, Levne Vnehem, Leman Shemo Beahava, Melech Ozer, Umoshia, Umagen, Baruch Atarunai, Magen Avraham, Vezrat Sarah, Atagi Boile Alamarunai, Mechayeha Kolata, Rav Lehoshia, Morid Hatal, Mechal Kel Chaim Bechesed, Mechayeha Kol Berachamim Rabim, So Mech Noflim Verofecholim, Umatir Asurim, Umekayem Emunato, Lishenei Afar, Michamocha Baal Gevurot, Umido Melach, Melech Memid, Umekaye, Umatzmiach Yeshua, Pneman Atale Achayot Hakul, Baruch Atadonai, Mechaye Hakul.
one of the delights of having Gabriel here with us as a cantorial intern this summer is that he is also bringing us uh, new music uh, to add to our repertoire. Um, certainly we know the talents of our HUC cantorial students are many and Gabriel is filled with them. Um, and so he's going to offer us a new prayer um, for our Misha Berach Lecholim, our prayer for healing. Um, we know that there are many who come to worship, whether you're here in person or streaming because you're thinking of someone, maybe even yourself, in need of healing. Our community this week is especially praying for Lisa Axelrod, Susan Carlson, Abigail Covert, Charles Dietz, uh, Rabia Ergolim, Selena Glader, Faith Gobadi, Sarah Guido, uh, Dorothy Huppert, Moritz Huppert, Marvin Jones, Arnie Kaufman, Harold Muckamal, Sophia Palisbam, Donna Perlman, Dr. Mark uh, Perlroth, Rabbi Lori Phillips, Peggy Pizzo, Dale Prince, Prince Team, Stephen Ivraham Simone, David Baruch Ben Simona, Matthew Smith, Donna Spanger, Nicole Gent Wickenheiser, and Katie Wilson. If you're thinking of someone else in need of healing, please share their name out loud so we can add them to our prayer. Before we get started with this melody, so you, you'll be able to find the words on page 373 or 677, but they're really quite simple. They're just Ana, Elna, Rafana, La. And they come to us from a queer Jewish farmer, musician. Uh, she has a lot going for her. Um, who in, in Philadelphia, a friend of mine, and um, she writes beautiful music, so I wanted to bring this here. Anna, Elna, Refanala, Anna, Elna, try that. Anna, Elna, Refanala, Anna, Elna, Anna, Refanala Anna Elna Anna Elna Refanala Anna Elna And you can keep playing singing that and there's a part two that while you're singing that part if you want to learn this part two here is how it goes Anna Elna refana la Anna Elna refana la Anna Elna refana Anna Elna Refanala Anna Elna Anna Elna Refanala Anna want to introduce this one or is it self-explanatory do you want me to start or do you want to read first 
Uh, all right, I'll give my I'll give my drosh first. Let's see, we're very organized. If I can get this over. All right, there you go. You can untangle. <laughs> Friday, June 26th, 2015. The Supreme Court issued their decision in Obergefell, did I say that right, versus Hodges, granting same-sex couples the right to marry in all 50 states. That night, we celebrated Shabbat here in the outdoor chapel, and the atmosphere was jubilant. Congregants came decked out in their pride gear, and people were downright giddy. I made a not very funny joke before Lachad O.D. about the Sabbath bride now being able to marry whomever she chooses. We really felt that the arc of the moral universe was finally bending toward justice, and that arc was, in fact, a rainbow. Friday, June 10th, 2022. The feeling is slightly less jubilant. Some of us wait with anticipation or dread for the Supreme Court to issue their ruling in Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization, which will overturn Roe v. Wade and make reproductive freedom a thing of the past. And with a number of homophobic and transphobic laws being passed in states across the country, we wonder if the Supreme Court will set its sights on taking away LGBTQ rights next. It is a grim time in America. Many of us are afraid of what the future holds. We are afraid, but we are not hopeless, and we are not helpless. We look to our communities, to our leaders, to our history, and to our tradition, and we find sources for strength and hope and faith. For one thing, we find rainbows. In case it's been a while since you read the story of Noah in the book of Genesis, I'll refresh your memory. After God sends a flood to wipe out all life on earth, except for Noah, his family, and some very lucky pairs of animals, the waters recede and dry land appears. God commands Noah and his family to leave the ark and begin life anew. But this time, God makes a promise. God says, I now establish my covenant with you and your offspring to come, and with every living thing that is with you, birds, cattle, and every wild beast as well, all that have come out of the ark, every little living thing on earth, I will maintain my covenant with you. Never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. This is the sign that I set for the, command, set for the covenant between me and you. For all ages to come, I have set my bow in the clouds, and it shall serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and every living creature among all flesh, so that the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow is a strange and contradictory symbol. On the one hand, it is a reminder of the wickedness of humanity. In fact, the Talmud teaches that rainbows only appear during generations that don't have any perfectly righteous people in them. As God says after the flood, never again will I doom the earth because of mankind, humankind, since the devisings of the human mind are evil from youth. In other words, God has learned not to despair over human beings' wickedness, but to accept it. So on the other hand, the rainbow is a sign of God's grace, a promise to keep faith with us in spite of our many flaws. The rainbow, which only appears when it's cloudy, is a symbol of hope and faith, particularly during dark times. The rainbow flag became a symbol for the LGBTQ community during another troubled time, as gay and lesbian people were fighting for acceptance and equality in this country. The original rainbow flag was created by Gilbert Baker, a gay activist and drag queen in San Francisco, who was known for, I'm quoting an article about him, his sewing skills and flamboyant creations. In 1978, Harvey Milk challenged Baker to create a new symbol for the LGBTQ community. 
Here's what Baker said about it. I thought of the American flag with its 13 stripes and 13 stars, the colonies breaking away from England to form the United States. I thought of the vertical red, white, and blue tricolor from the French Revolution and how both flags owed their beginnings to a riot, a rebellion, or revolution. I thought a gay nation should have a flag too, to proclaim its own idea of power. As a community, both local and international, gay people were in the midst of an upheaval, a battle for equal rights, a shift in status, but we were now demanding power, taking it. This was our new revolution, a tribal, individualistic, and collective vision. It deserved a new symbol. Later, Baker was at a dance club, watching people of different genders, backgrounds, and colors move to the music. He writes, dance fused us, magical and cleansing. We were all in a swirl of color and light. It was like a rainbow, a rainbow. That's the moment when I knew exactly what kind of flag I would make. The first rainbow flag was flown at San Francisco's Gay Freedom Day Parade on June 25th, 1978, and has since become a powerful symbol for LGBTQ identity and pride. Jewish tradition teaches that when we see a rainbow, we're supposed to recite a blessing. Here it is. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, zofer habrit v'neeman brito v'kayam b'ma'amaro. Blessed are you, eternal our God, ruler of the universe, who remembers the covenant and is true to their covenant and keeps their word. When we see a rainbow in the sky, we bless God and thank God for keeping faith with humanity in spite of our many failings. Whatever storm we are weathering, the rainbow reassures us that it's not, in fact, the end of the world, even though it may feel that way. When we see a rainbow flag, we might offer another prayer, affirming our own breach, our own promise, that we will never stop fighting for the rights and well-being of LGBTQ people. We will stand up together against assaults on equality and freedom. We will continue to have faith, and we will put that faith into action, that unjust laws can be overturned and just laws can be enacted. No matter how long that arc of the moral universe is, we will keep bent on bending it toward justice. Shabbat Shalom and happy Pride. Now I think it needs no introduction. That's where you'll find me Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high And the dream that you dream of Once in a lullaby
If you're able, I invite you to rise for words of Alenu 282 or 586. Alenu Leshabeach Ladon Hakol Lathet Gerula Leotzem Breshit Shelo Asanu Kegoye Aratzot Velo Samanu Kemishpechot Adama Shelo Sam Chalkeinu Kahem Begor Alenu Kechol Hamonam Vanachnu korim, umishtachavim, umodim. Lifne melech malche hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Benemar vehayadonai le melech al kol haaretz. Vayom hahu, vayom hahu, yie Adonai echad. Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo echad. Be seated. Our thoughts at this time turn to our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us or those who died at this season in years past and those who we have drawn into our hearts with our own. If I read the name of one of your loved ones, I invite you to rise in his or her honor. Last to the Betham community this week were two of our members, Jerry Shapiro, husband of Irene, and Coleman Sachs, husband of Diane, father of Todd and Sandra, grandfather of Abe, Emma, and Oliver. This period of Shloshim, the 30 days since passing, remembering Samuel Jacob Klein, Barbara Bunny Ratner, Suzanne Sue Coppett, Carl Rosenblum, and Jean Zukin. And this period of yard site, the anniversary since passing, we remember with love Andrew Ball, Selma Baraz, Bernard Beckett, Errol Berman, Ann Bleeman, Leroy Bronstein, Lucy Bush, Pearl Capasudo, Henry Cavalonius Sr., Charlotte Constan, Morris Dondick, Ruben Eisenberg, Ferdy Feldman, Gerald, Gerald, Gerald Jerry Frankel, Jenny Kristen Jendel, Roberta Garofsky, Rissy Gimbel, Bernardo Gitlim, Julius Glader, Gretchen Gordon, Morty Kalsman, Ann Karasek, Ida Levin, Celia Levinson, Mitchell Lewis, Robert Lewis, Vizia Lesman, Francine Sue Liss, Morton Malkowski, Hyman Maltzman, Klavna Michelin, Lev Mintz, Marie Jose Montrenault, Sylvia Newman, Kitty Plotkin, Gertrude Raymer, Edward Rubin, Samuel Rubin, Roger Ruby, Estelle Schechter, Shana Schneider, Lorraine Neeson, L Lorraine Neesonson Shub, Mark Silbert, Lorraine Silver, Terry Smolar, William Spicer, Peggy Sternberger, Mark Volpin, Charles Wedden, Mercedes Weil, Murray Weiss, Michael Lee White, Frederick Witzel, and Vladimir Yan. If you're thinking of someone whose name I did not read, I invite you to rise and share their name with this community at this time. We all rise on page 294. <laughs> Beama de Varakur te beam lich malhute. Behae hon of Yome hon, Uchae de Hol Beit Israel. Bagalau visman kari bimru amem. Yehesh me raba me barach le olam ulme almaya. Yiparach vi ishtabach vi paar vit ramam vit nase. 
Vit hadar, vit hale, vit halal, shmeid kusha, brichu. Leela min kober hata vishirata. Tushpe hata, benechemata, da miram biama, bimru, ame. Vehe shlama raba min shemaya. Vehaim alenu biako Israel, bimru, ame. O se shalom bimromav. Hu ya se shalom alenu biako Israel, bimru, ame. May the one who creates harmony and high bring peace to us and to all Israel, to which we say, Amen. Skyler over here for playing his plethora of percussion instruments. It's great to see his parents in the back too. Skyler, we bring you such talent to Beth Am. It's always wonderful to welcome you here um, and your family as well. I know that Beth Am means so much to them. Um, so what a delight. As always, our amazing cantorial intern, Gabriel Lerman. If you haven't met him, that's on you now. I think this is his third <laughs> Shabbat. So come up, and s come up uh, and say hi and introduce yourself and give him a warm, um, a warm greeting. It will be great to have you here all summer. Um, and then, as always, Congregation Beth Am collects Sadaka each month for a really important organization. Um, if you are streaming, you can contribute on the Beth Am web page, or you can Venmo Beth Dash Am. Um, here, you can Venmo too, or you could add some cash to the Sadaka box. Um, and this month, we're collecting for our local food bank, the Second Harvest Food Bank. Many of you know it. Uh, many of you have volunteered there. They're really an important organization throughout our area. Second Harvest is now serving over 400,000 people each month, which is a 60% increase since pre-pandemic. Over 400,000 people a month. So we ask you to be as generous as possible and help them continue this important work. Just a final note, if you help our facilities team by bringing your Cedarim, if you're here in person, back to the cart. If you're streaming with the Cedar, yeah, you do whatever you want with it. Put it on your bookshelf. Stop diving a little bit more, whatever you feel. Um, and thank you so much for joining us. We sing that song for peace, Ose Shalom. The bottom, the words are the very end of Kaddish on page 294 or 598. Ose Shalom Bim Roma. Shalom Shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael. Um, okay. <laughs> Tomorrow in our Torah portion we'll read the words of the priestly benediction. Shalom. 
wherever you go, wherever this journey takes you, may you be given the gift of peace. We say mozi together. Next year, we need a rainbow challah. Who's going to volunteer right now? Next year, Mary Beth, you got it. Next year, you'll bake a rainbow challah. Join with us. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Percussion solo.